Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching my YouTube channel AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video lecture, we will talk about heat transfer is a path function and energy is a property. So first we take heat transfer. heat transfer is a path function in previous video lectures we have showed that work transfer or work done thermodynamic work done is a path function and is a inexact differential and is not a property heat transfer is a path function this way we will show with the help of our first law of thermodynamics so first we will draw it can be any uh, plot that pv plot or any other right so i am not mentioning any uh, terms here but i will draw simple a thermodynamic cycle See, there is a two states, state 1 and state 2. First, the path is going from state 1 to state 2 like this. Say it's path A. Then it moves from state 2 to state 1 again to complete the thermodynamic cycle as this way say its state b uh, path b right so we have 1 a 2 b 1 it is a thermodynamic cycle so applying our applying first law of thermodynamics for cycle in previous lecture we have talked about first law of thermodynamics and we have given uh, the equation for thermodynamic cycle right So, for this, summation Q is equal to summation W, right? So, for that cycle, 1, A, 2, B, 1, right? It will be DQ, say, 1, a2 plus dq 2 b1 right this is the summation of heat transfer for this thermodynamic cycle then on the right hand side summation of work transfer that is d cut w as we know it is a path function so we are having inexact differential 1 a2 plus d cut w b 2 b 1 right for this path we got this now suppose we are omitting this uh, path 2b1 uh, right and we are drawing another path from b2 uh, uh, to uh, state 2 to state 1 like this say this as path c so our new thermodynamic cycle will be 1 
a to c1 right c1 this is our new thermodynamic cycle new right so for this again if we apply the first law of thermodynamics say this uh, first uh, equation as equation a capital a there will be no misunderstanding from small a and capital a right now okay then 1 a 2 c 1 okay d q 1 a 2 plus d q 2 C one is equal to d cut w one a two plus d cut w two c one. Suppose it's b. Now, if we subtract a minus b, then when we subtract equation a minus b from b then we get dq 2b1 minus why i am putting this because now we will start getting our answers that it's a path function so it is inexact differential look how we get it d cut q 2 c1 is equal to this will be cancelled out again as this one was cancelled out so in right hand side it will be d cut w 2 b1 minus d cut w 2 c1 now as we mentioned before that work done is a path function so summation of this will not equal to zero when this is not equal to zero that means this is also not equal to zero right put this equation as equation 1 right as equation 1 for now so we get this d cut q 2 b1 minus d cut q 2 c1 is not equal to 0 this means d cut q 2 b1 is equal to is not equal to d cut q 2c1 what this means that heat for heat transfer for path a uh, path b it uh, path b is not equal to path c right which means for the same end points that was from state 2 to state 1 the end points are same but the paths are different and we are getting different heat transfers this means heat is a path function heat is a path function this implies heat is a path function and is an uh, it is an inexact differential that why we are uh, having d cut instead of 
dq d cut q instead of d u q right now the next point i will put this as like this for a bit because we are using the same procedure again and second thing is energy is a property okay the same thing we will apply so i am not uh, going through again the same and i will be taking the equation 1 from equation 1 what was our equation 1 equation 1 was d cut q 2 b 1 minus d cut q 2 c 1 is equal to d cut w 2 b 1 minus d cut w 2 c 1 this was our equation 1 was equation 1 right now from there now we can uh, uh, bring this d cut w 2 b 1 from there uh, from right hand side to the left hand side right so d cut q 2 b 1 minus d cut w 2 b 1 right is equal to now this on the right hand side d cut q 2 c 1 minus d cut w 2 c 1 okay when these parts are same we can write as like this d cut q minus d cut w 2 b 1 uh, d cut q minus d cut w 2 c 1 now you see this uh, difference is same for both the paths path b and path c as we have seen from this diagram both the parts are same the difference of d cut q minus d cut w is same for both the paths b and c so uh, we can say this is uh, a property so the difference d cut q minus d cut w is coined as de d e right is coined as d e this is the energy difference right from uh, this these two are energies right so the difference is the energy right so from here we can write it as d cut q is equal to d e plus d cut w right now this is our equation for heat transfer in terms of energy and work done and it is known as and it is known as first law of thermo dynamics for a process for a process right for a process now this energy e is consisting of kinetic energy 
प्लस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी प्लस इंटरनल एनर्जी इट कैन बी रिटर्न एस डी के डी के प्लस डी पी प्लस डी यू बट डी के प्लस डी पी एट मॉलिकुलर लेवल इज वेरी स्मॉल सो इट कैन बी आर नेगलीजिबल एज दे आर very small therefore de can be replaced by du so our equation this equation can be changed into d cut q is equal to du plus d cut w why i am not putting d cut u because this is A property, right? Note: This equation equation. Termed as two, equation two is valid for closed system undergoing a. process right so in this way we have uh, seen that energy is a property with the help of first law of thermodynamics energy is a property because uh, this is same for both the parts and heat is a path function with the same first law of thermodynamics with the help of same first law of thermodynamics that heat is a path function because it is not equal for both the paths between the same end points but for energy it is same